Shalom, Israel. This is the brother Kadaga Bar here again. All praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakar Kadash. And double honors to the apostles and elders of Red Millstone. And respect to all the brothers preaching and teaching the truth worldwide in sincerity. And peace and blessings to the whole feet, like other nation of Israel. Shalom. Um, I'm sure everybody heard by now about this dude, Ke Kevin Samuels, passing away. Um, and this dude knew about the Israelites, man. He knew about the word. You know. And this goes to show to you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that once you hear this word, man, you come across this word, hey, you need to repent and turn back to Yahweh Bash from Yahweh Shah. You shouldn't have no second thoughts of should you repent? Should you come in this truth? You need to repent and you need to come in this truth. Or you gonna, you know, the heavenly father, Yahweh Bash from Yahweh Shah is gonna is gonna uh bring judgment upon you, man. You know. I'm hearing that uh according to the news reports they saying that this dude passed away uh due to uh cardiac arrest heart failure you know and this dude you know basically you know he he be screaming at high value man stuff you know a hot what is a high value man according to the ways of this world you know, according to this wicked world, is having money, being rich. And there's nothing wrong with having money, but the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, doesn't look as being a rich man as being a high value man. A high value man is a man of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, a man of the Lord. If you're not a man of the Lord, you're not no high value man. The men of the Lord are the highest value men here upon this planet Earth. As Apostle Gabar always say, man. We are the high value men. You know, started with the apostles on down from Great Millstone. And, you know, he used to get on women, put women in their place. But, you know. The scriptures, you know, puts these women in their place. You know, these scriptures tell a woman how they should conduct themselves. These women, uh, Salaki, the, the scriptures tell these women that the man is the head, that they should be submissive unto their own husbands. You know, the scriptures tell a woman how she should be. You know, and when he on his videos trying to give advice how a woman should be, you know, he ain't wrong, but he get he he he, he understands. He knows that what he's saying comes from the Bible, man. But he try to make it seem like. It's his, it's, it's his ways, you know. Instead of he telling the women, this is what God said, who these people call God. This is what the Most High said, you know. But see, now, nah, man, the dude is out of there. He knew about the Hebrew Israelites. He didn't repent, you know. So... Heavenly Father, you know, checked him up out of there. Let me get a, a scripture or two real quick. So this is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 14. And it reads, prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. So, you know, all these things come from Yahweh Basham Yahweh 
even death, as the scriptures have said, life and death, you know. And the Heavenly Father checked him up out of there, man. Dude, they repent. He was proud, man. He knew about the word. Everybody know. Especially the, the top celebrities, man. They, they know, man. You know. But he refused to repent. Turn back to how about me? I was shot. He, he had a big platform, man. You know, he could have used his voice and his platform to preach this word in, in, in truth and in sincerity. You know, all the people that, you know, watch him. And all them people that agree with him, if he was to preach this word, I'm sure that he they agree with the things he's saying that's coming out the Bible. But he 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 refused to do that. He did what he did for his own personal gains, man. He didn't do the will of Yahweh Bashmelsha by preaching his word and uh fishing for the elect. You know, well, like I said earlier, man, I, you know, watching a, a, the Apostle Gabar video a while ago, and like Apostle Gabar said, man, these scriptures put these women in, in, in their place. And started with the uh, Apostle Tahar on down. They, they, you know, the Apostles been, you know, putting the women in their place, man. By reading the scriptures. You know. So, let's see. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 7, and it reads, Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. That's right. Don't take your time, man. You know. Don't be taking your time to turn back to Yahweh about you that was shot and repent and, 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 and forsaking your wicked ways and, and walking in the ways of the Heavenly Father, which is the good way, man. You know, any other way besides walking in the way of Yahweh about you that was shot is death. You know, and this dude ain't, he ain't repent, you know. So for you Israelites out there, man, we in a time of judgment. You know, I think it was this dude named Rap the News. The Heavenly Father checked him out. That was like what, a few months ago, or two months ago. And now this, this dude, the Heavenly Father checked him out, Kevin Samuels, you know. So the Heavenly Father don't care about being rich and having, you know, the wisdom of this world, man. The wisdom of this world is foolishness unto Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. Dude ain't had the wisdom of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha, which is the true wisdom. And how do you get that wisdom? By fearing Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. He didn't fear Yahweh Bashem Yahusha because if he did, he would have repented and preached his word. But he did. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord. Don't take your time to turn back to Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. And put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So, you know, you don't want to take your time to, to repent and turn back to Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. Because why you, you know, you, you thinking you, you, you know, you think you living your best life and you all comfortable. You know, and you you chilling. You have you you know you you saying that you ain't got no worries. Everything is going all good. Hey, the, the wrath of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah could come up on you. You know, and when it's his wrath come up on you, he, hey, he's going to destroy you, man. The Heavenly Father can put you to death by many ways, many ways, man. And the reports, you know, according to the reports, this dude died of heart failure. You know? now, I don't know how painful heart failure is, uh, but, you know, 
I can imagine that it's very painful. You, you feel that, that all that pain in your chest, and you know, you never know, you know. But hey, you know that's why we us in this truth that preach this word, man. We gotta be thankful, man. You know. We ain't supposed to be, you know, envying what these dudes got, man. They got the money. They got a big follow, following, big platform. We ain't, hey, we not supposed to be envying that, man. The hell with them dudes, man. We doing the will. We doing the best job on this earth, man. This is the best job to have. It's nothing else that I'd rather do. It's nothing else that I'd put before this word. We got the best job on the planet Earth, and that's preaching this word. And we do it for free. We do what we do for free, man. We make our bodies a living sacrifice, and we preach this gospel. We don't need money to do this. Those people that do what they do, they big following and big platforms, they need money to do what they do. If they weren't getting paid from it, they won't be doing it. But we not getting paid for this and we doing it. We don't need, you know, money to do the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. You know, we want to do everything we supposed to do concerning Yahweh Bashem Yahushua while we in the sinful flesh. You know, it's hard because we in the sinful flesh and we in the land of our captivity. Well, we try because we love Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. We show our love by, by showing the action, man. Not just saying we love Yahweh, but we do. The things we need to do concerning Yahweh Bashem Yahushua to show our love. Love is an action word, man. And these dudes, man, they not preaching the word, man. You know? You got that big old platform, you got all those followers, and you not speaking the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. You know? Not preaching the truth, man. The correct doctrine. Hey. To see what happened to dude, man. They haven't even checked him up out of here. So, you know, the Israelites need to repent and turn back to Yahweh Bashem Yahushua before it's too late. This is uh, Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing should come from the presence of the Lord. You know, you want to repent, man. You know, and you know, repent, and be converted. And we giving you the warning that if you don't repent, turn back to Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, you're gonna be put to death. And dude, Cam and Samuel is no. He heard this word. He heard the Hebrew Israelites telling people to repent. And what I mean by people, I'm talking about the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Because the Israelites are the only ones that can repent. They're the only ones that can believe. But did, did he repent? No. No. He wanted the riches of this world, man. You know. It's like I said, it's not wrong with doing what you got to do to get your money. As long as it ain't nothing wicked. You know, working, you know, you got a platform speaking about other stuff. And that's cool, you know, but you could you could preach this word also, man, and speak about the stuff that's going on, you know. But he didn't, yeah, he just spoke about, you know, other things and he left the word out, you know. And every father just wasn't dealing with him, man. Check them up out of here. This is uh first Samuel chapter two verse six. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. So this is the the doings of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh when, when somebody die, that's the doings of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh so the Heavenly Father checked this dude out. You know. This dude, you know, got a big platform. A lot of followers. 
Everybody know who he is. And, you know, he didn't use his platform to preach the word, man. To push the words of Yahweh about Shem El Shai. So, every father, every father got tired of the dude and, 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 and checked him up out of here, man. This is a... Uh, Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13. And before I read this, you Israelites, so called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, Native Americans, you need to stop playing, man. Straight up. You need to stop bullshitting. Because the Heavenly Father know all and He sees all. We we in those times, man. We in the latter days. If you don't, you know, let me just read the scripture. Second Chronicles Second Second Chronicles chapter fifteen verse thirteen. That whosoever would not seek the Lord God, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah of Israel should be put to death. And Kevin Samuels, he wasn't seeking Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. He knew about the word. He knew about the Hebrew Israelites. But he, did he seek Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah? No. He didn't uh, repent and turn back to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah and, and uh, push the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah on his platform. He didn't do that. He dressed up in his in his uh in in his in his suit and his tie and with his little with his little red boy and 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 you know talking the things that he wanted to talk about. He didn't talk about the things that needed to be talked about, which is his word. This word needed to be preached, man. Verse 13, that whosoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel should be put to death. Whether man, whether small or great, whether man or woman. And you can see, uh, according uh, according to this world, he, he was a high earner man. You know, he was a, you know, great man according to this world. You know, he was up there. So he had popularity, you know, he had riches, you know. So that shows you that Heavenly Father don't care about your, your status in this world, man. He don't care about if you rich, or you got popularity. He don't care about that, man. The Heavenly Father will get you up out of here. Like the scripture says, small or great, man or a woman, you know. So if you don't seek your home, you have a shot, man. Hey, you're going to be put to death, simple as that. With that being said, all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, with Kaka Dash. See y'all again soon, Yahweh willing, Shalom. Repent, Israel. Repent, Shalom.